Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another synthetic wig review. I have a brand new wig to show you guys and I'm super excited. I have Miss Letitia and I got Letitia in the color Flamboyage Blonde. If you guys watched my Boss Babe and Alpha Woman review that I posted about a month ago, I loved the Flamboyage Blonde that I got for Boss Babe. So I wanted to try it in a longer length. Now, right off the bat, Letitia looks like she's going to be a yakky texture and I'm here for it. And if she is, I believe this is the first longer yakky textured unit that is a part of the sensational what lace collection so here's what the sock card looks like i'm really loving how the model looks wearing it as a side part you see that it has the hd lace claims keep them guessing here is the natural density hairline this unit is heat safe up to 400 degrees she comes in a lot of different colors as you can see here on the back and then what are some other specs about this unit? So it says it is a 13 by six ear to ear with six inch deep hand tied part, pre-plucked natural density, undetectable flawless hairline, perfect hairline with baby hair along the hairline, pre-customized unit, protective style, no leave out necessary. Here is Letitia straight out of the box. Here is that really pretty flamboyage blonde color that I love and yakky texture check she is definitely a yakky texture she's giving me like Misha vibes for sure on the texture already so I'm really happy about that because I was kind of nervous that she wouldn't end up being a yakky texture even though that's how she was coming in the photos and in the videos that I've seen we all know that photos can be a little bit deceiving at times as far as the cap construction goes you get your standard cap construction with two combs on the left and right hand side a comb in the back as well as adjustable straps it is a 13 by 6 frontal unit it does come with baby hairs as you guys can see and here is what that hairline is looking like not too bad now as far as the lace goes it looks like a light brown and it doesn't look super ashy on my hand we'll see how it looks once i put it on my head but let's go ahead and ooh, look at that okay i'm not i'm not mad at that I don't know if it's just my hair not being super flat but this is this is kind of snug so here is what Letitia looks like all to the front I do have on a wig grip and I have a light brown cap on underneath as well but here's what that parting space is looking like you do get a really good amount of parting space so let's see it as a side part Oh, that's cute. On here is the other side. I didn't have any issues parting the unit, and I know I only did three little parts, but I didn't have any tangling so far. So, however, I haven't gone in and fully brushed out this unit. I do think that I'm going to have to enlist the help of my hot comb or a hot tool of some sort to kind of like flatten out the parting space right up here so that it lays really flat i'm gonna go ahead and start styling and customizing this unit i will let you guys see the entire process from cutting the lace laying it down i'm probably gonna try to wear this wig glueless because it is pretty light at night and i ain't sleeping in this wig once all that's done i will be back to give you guys my final thoughts and opinions and we will further discuss miss Letitia. so i'm gonna go ahead and get to customizing her and i will check back in with you guys in a little bit Hey guys, I wanted to just talk about this hairline for a little bit and put some emphasis on how it is looking like straight out of the box. I feel like they could have done a lot better job. Um, I did go in and tweeze just a little bit, but I know not everybody wants to do that with their wigs. And I feel like when a company advertises a natural pre-plucked hairline, I feel like they should come through. And I know that they have in other units from the What Lace collection, but I feel like with this one, they just kind of fell short. As you guys can see, once I cut off the lace, it really doesn't look very natural at all. Tweezing is always optional. It is up to you on how you want your hairline to look. I did a very minimal amount of tweezing. I could definitely have done more, but I just wanted to emphasize that really quick. I'll touch on it later again in the video, but I just kind of wanted to point that out right now. So I went in with my paddle brush and the curl pattern kind of fell a little bit and I'll show you guys here the difference of what it looks like straight out of the box compared to how it looks after I brushed it out. I did go in and finger comb through the other side and I'll show you guys that difference here in a second. I'm going to go ahead and speed up the rest of this portion of the video and I'll be back to give you guys my final thoughts and opinions. I've been waiting for so long girl, yeah, to be with you alone. 
girl, yeah, yeah. Move your back against the wall, girl. Uh, don't be afraid, won't let you fall, girl. No, no, no. You don't have to feel no pressure. We got all the night, no stress, girl. I'm about halfway through with styling this wig. I chose to do it as a side part because I really just liked how that was looking. And I added some powder on the lace, underneath the lace, a little bit of foundation like I've shown you guys in the last couple of videos. I just feel like I'm at this point with this wig where I don't love this part right here. <laughs> like it's really pretty until like right here. And I was like, should I cut it and make it like a cute, you know, like mid-length, length because there's a lot of body right here and then you just get like the last like six inches of the hair I just feel like it's unnecessary I don't know so I'm kind of like should I cut it I don't know I feel like I'm gonna cut it do y'all see what I'm talking about like all the layers stop right here and then you just get like the rest of the wig and I just don't I just think I'm gonna cut it. So before I cut this unit, I wanna show you guys what the length looks like on me. I am six feet tall, so if you are shorter than me, this unit is going to be so long. When I stretched it out, it touched my tailbone and I was shook. So I went in with my scissors and I just cut kind of straight across. I twisted the hair a little bit and then just cut right where the fullness and the layer stopped, which is just under like my collarbone length. So I wanna say it's probably about like 18 inches once it's all curled up, maybe 16 to 18 inches and then that was it and this is the finished result all right so this is the length that I ended up cutting her to this is kind of where the fullness stops on this wig and then the rest of the length is just kind of like one length it's very not I don't want to say thin but it's just not as full as the rest of this wig so it kind of looks a little bit awkward to me let's go ahead and get into the pros and cons about this unit starting off with the cons the first one for me is the cap size it just feels like a medium cap like a good medium not like a medium large a solid medium medium small maybe because this wig is slipping on my head and i have on my wig grip i just can't get it to stay in one place <laughs> My hair underneath is not super flat, but it's also not bulky. I just feel like this cap is on the smaller side. It just keeps slipping. I even added some clips to like anchor the wig because I'm telling y'all it keeps slipping back. And I'm like, sis, <laughs> can you stay put please? I just have a few more minutes and then we can, we can be done with each other, okay? If you have a smaller normal size head, I feel like this would fit you pretty well. But on this side, you guys, like it's, the lace is way back here. I, it's, it's small. The next con that I have about this wig is the hairline. I think that this hairline doesn't match the other hairlines from the other units in this collection. When I put the wig up to my hand, as soon as I took it out of the box and showed you guys the parting space, the parting space is bomb, okay? Like that, I'm not denying. But as far as the hairline goes, it just looks very round and I went in and tweezed a little bit. My tweezers suck, I said that to y'all already. I just feel like the hairline on this wig is not up to the what lace standard of the other units a part of this collection. I didn't have to tweeze the hairline with Kiari and I didn't tweeze any of Darlene if I'm not mistaken. If I did, it was probably just like a little bit of hair, but the hairlines were not looking like this one. I think those are the only two cons that stick out in my mind. I'm gonna go ahead and throw out some observations that I've made about this wig. You can take them as cons or pros. I feel like they're personal preferences. As far as shedding and tangling, goes this unit does shed a little bit it doesn't shed as much as I anticipated but you will get a little bit of shedding with this wig tangling yes it does tangle first of all it is super long when I had all the hair to the back I could pull it down and touch my butt I'm six feet tall I got, I got no business with a wig that touches my butt okay you're gonna get some tangling with this wig I would say it's probably a good like 26 28 inches long it's very, very long. And I was kind of surprised because I feel like the model, it doesn't look that long. And when I had it to the front, it came down to like my waist. But keep in mind, I'm six feet tall. I don't know. I feel like that maybe didn't look that long. I don't know. 
anyways I'm going off on a rant let's go ahead and get into the pros about this wig the first pro I think is the color I really think that it is very pretty I love this blonde like I said in the boss babe review this is a good color mix for people who want to try blonde but you don't want anything super bright because you do get that really pretty like sandy ashy brown mixed in with the 613 I think that it complements a lot of different skin tones another pro is definitely the texture of this wig it is 100% a yakky texture you cannot deny that this wig is a yakky texture it is definitely giving me OG Nisha vibes but just a lot curlier and I think that it looks really pretty it has a nice natural luster to it it's not shiny the hair is really soft I like that as you guys can tell this is a very full density wig so you are gonna get some heat when you wear this wig so keep that in mind because we are transitioning into the summer months I feel like this wig would probably be better suited for like fall or winter just because of the amount of hair that comes with this unit I'm just not I don't know I really am kind of like unsure about how I feel about this wig I think that it is pretty and I like how I got it right now but would I reach for this wig again probably not would I recommend you purchase this wig if you want to I don't think it's a must oh man um all in all I do think that this wig is pretty again I don't think that you need to rush out and go purchase it especially with the price point but it is a pretty wig if you wanted a long natural textured unit with a slightly pre-plucked hairline i mean go for it <laughs> i will leave links where you can purchase it in the description box my only suggestion is that if you do feel compelled to purchase this wig shop around and make sure that you're getting it for the least amount of money as possible make sure you take into consideration shipping and all that and watch more reviews because again what i think is a con somebody else might think is a pro and you might be able to see somebody style it in a much better way than i have so watch a few reviews don't run out and purchase this wig and then be like oh wow this wig is not all it's cracked up to be and i don't spent 60 bucks you know what i'm saying like i just don't think that it's i don't think that it's worth 60 dollars. that's just my opinion so I think that's it for this video again if you guys want to purchase this wig shop around there will be a Google link in the description box so that you can see what every site is listing it for because like I said every site lists it for a different price it's all within a few dollars but you know what you got to save some coin especially during these hard times okay so yeah um I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you made it to the end of this pretty long video and you are not already subscribed go ahead and hit that button turn on those notifications and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye go ahead and get